Hi there, Tapas Fleming here, tatlife.com. This is for you if you're feeling hopeless and feeling stuck in it. One of the really cool things you can do with the TAT approach is to just do the TAT pose and state exactly what it is you're thinking and feeling. And then still in the pose, state the opposite. These two will tend to or totally cancel each other out. So you find yourself in a state of much more expansive peace. So I'll show you how to do the TAT pose and we'll give it a try for what are some common things you might be thinking or feeling right now. Okay, so the pose, it's just your thumb and ring finger touching just above the upper inner corner of each eye. No pressure, just a light touch, middle finger between your eyebrows and slightly above and your other hand at the base of your skull. So it's not down on your neck, it's up here with your thumb level being just above your hairline back there and your hand centered. You're not sticking your thumb in the notch, it's just back there. So we'll put our attention on these. I've written some down. So you are doing the pose. I'm sort of doing it with my glasses on so I can read what I've got here. Okay. I feel hopeless. And the opposite, I feel hopeful. Or you can make a different opposite. It's not true that I feel hopeless. Or if those opposites feel like they're just too strong, you can do. It's possible that I don't feel hopeless. It's possible that I feel hopeful. This, meaning whatever it is you're feeling hopeless about, no matter how big, just this, whatever that is for you, this will last forever. This won't last forever. It's not true that this will last forever. It's possible this won't last forever. It's possible for me to know, feel, and accept that this won't last forever. My heart is broken. It's not true that my heart is broken. It's possible my heart isn't broken. I can accept and feel that my heart isn't broken. I'll never connect with loved ones. It's not true that I'll never connect with loved ones. It's possible that I am connected with loved ones. It's possible for me to accept that I'm connected with loved ones right now. I'll never feel close with God. It's possible for me to feel close with God right now. It's not true that I'll never feel close with God. I feel close with God right now. There's no way out. It's not true that there's no way out. It's possible for me to experience the way out right now. So there you go. There's some statements that could be happening for you. Feel, change, feel free to change them up so that they're exactly what's happening for you and then do an exact opposite. Or if it feels like, oh, that's just too much, you can do, it's possible that. I know so much is going on right now that is 
really hard, hard on our hearts, hard on our feelings, um, hard spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. So just doing this little bit will probably help you feel better. I hope so. Thanks for listening and see you next time.